Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. It's been a long time that I haven't given you a specific assignment or Selenium assignment. So this is what I'm going to give you that uh, first I'll tell you the use case. The use case is uh, slightly tricky or uh, I would say a very common use case in the most of the e-commerce application. So let's say you go to this URL t-mobile.com tablets and uh, here this these are the three filter options are available right so your target is that you have to open a deals and then select any of the deal filter same like brand so and the operating system same thing you can go on walmart also that if i'm searching for the laptop on laptop you can select the specific processor type or storage or ram or everything right so let's focus on the tmobile.com on this uh, use case. What exactly I'm expecting from you. You have to create one single generic function and uh, you can directly launch this URL actually. And then one single generic function will take one parameter, which is deals or brands or operating system. So let's see the filter category name or whatever the, the first uh, label name right and then you have to tell that which option that you want to select so if i'm saying deal comma new then it should open okay it should open initially it was like that it should open deals and then it should select only new that's it and we don't need to verify the results the results you can ignore it then obviously that that will be the different uh a validation that we you can do it later so right now we are just focusing on uh, this component here so same thing i can pass brands also let's see i'll call that function once again and in the brand i'm passing three parameters like three uh brand values uh, maybe apple samsung or tcl something like this and then uh, i'm selecting the three check boxes over here right so this is a combination so for example you just need to launch the application create one method i'm not going to show you this method this method is already written with me select filter method something like this and the first parameter is let's see brand and in brand these are the three values that i want to select okay remember you are not allowed to create a two generic fun functions or uh, more than two generic functions only one function you have to create any function name like for example select filter so first value will be the label from which category you want to select let's see from the brands i want to select apple samsung and dsl it should select that. So for example, let's see if I run this program, I'm already, I've already solved this. And uh, this is a typical uh, use case in the e-commerce application. So when you launch this, it will open brands. And then after opening brands, whatever the values that you are passing, it should select that. So you can see Apple, Samsung, and the TCL, that is what we are passing Apple, Samsung, and TCL, right? Like this. So what if I'm passing only single value? let's see if i'm passing only um so same function should be able to handle single value as well so if i'm passing okay brands and tcl then it should select only tcl okay so let's uh, supply tcl as well let's see it's selecting only tcl from the brands so let's see okay see it's opening brands and then tcl got selected and then one tcl a tablet is available here right so this is single selection is also done you can just pick it from any other category let's see i'm uh, picking from the uh, operating system and from the operating system i want that ipad os and android i want to select so in that case i simply say uh, comma android as well let's see for example two values or two check boxes i want to select from the operating system category and uh, let's run it so let's see it's really doing it or not That is another use case that with different uh, label and then it should open that label. So it should open only that particular label and uh, see Android and the iPad OS got selected here. Okay, got checked here. Okay, that is another use case. Then what I want that you have to open all the filters. For example, let's see you have to open brands, select these three guys, deals, select these two checkboxes, new and the special offer from the brands uh you know from the deals new and special offer brand from uh, from the brand select three values and from the operating system select two values right so total three plus two five five plus two seven checkboxes should be selected so you can call this function one by one like this also 
So let's run it again and uh, let's see. So let's see whatever the required data that we are passing, is it really selecting the filters on the basis of that or not? Okay, so let's wait. Nice. So see here, you can see the selected values. I don't want to give the feedback here. So see this new, new special offer, Apple, Samsung, TCL, Android, iPad, OS, same values got selected over here as well. Perfect. And then the last use case that you have to solve is, uh, let me just comment it out everything. What if from the brands? Okay, so let's refresh this page once again. Or let's simple go to this particular page once again. And let's see my target is that you open the brands and um, select all the checkboxes. So just open the brands and select all the checkboxes. So you, because see what happens tomorrow, what if tomorrow, you have, uh, let's say 10 values are available. So it is always not a good option that, okay, you are passing the 12 arguments in the function. So I simply say, okay, fine. From the brands, I'll just pass one identifier that all. Then it means I want to select all the checkboxes from the brands, right? So like this. So this is another use case that, okay, what do you want? I want that, okay, from the brand, select all. So when I say this all, then it should select all the checkboxes from the brands or operating system or deals or whatever. So let's run this as well. So it should open brands and then uh, it will select all the values from there, all the checkboxes from there. See one, two, three, four, and five. You can see, right? Because I don't want to pass Alcatel, comma, Apple, comma, Samsung, comma, T-Mobile, comma, TCL. No. Right. For smaller values, what two, three values I can pass comma separated, but what if tomorrow 10 filters are available in a specific category? I simply say, okay, select all filters. So I just simple pass this all as a parameter and then it should select all the values. So total four to five use cases you have to solve single selection, multiple selection. And then uh, again, with some other uh, label, you can select single or multiple and then you s enable everyone. I mean, open all the sections and then select the respective uh, options from there, respective checkboxes from there. And the last, the fifth one is that you pick, you pass any specific uh, filter and select all the options checkboxes from that particular filter. So these are the five use cases that you have to solve. Make sure that only single generic function, okay? You're not allowed to create that, okay, select filter all, select filter by brand, select filter by uh, deals, select filter by operating system, select single value, select multiple value. No, only one single filter function you have to create that. This single filter function should be able to cover all the use cases. This is the assignment for you guys. What do you have to do? Just solve it and then mail me your Git repo. Where? This is my email ID. Okay, Naveen animation 20 at the rate gmail.com just send me a git repo with the solution you don't need to create any framework for that page object model and all those things no simple main method and create one select filter method and call this function with the different test cases here and make sure that okay uh it's working fine right if it is not working fine for any single use case i will not accept your code so simple, mail me a Git repo, take your time, two, three days of time and then solve this. It's very interesting problem to, for the filter use cases for the filter component. Same thing. You can do it on the Walmart also or anything, but let's focus on tmobile.com in your assignment. I hope this is clear. Okay. Let's see who does that. And, uh, I will give you the solution maybe after one week, once I get all the assignments from you guys. And then I'll decide the winner also who will be the winner for this assignment. And I'll tell you how to solve this problem as well with the proper generic functions. Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, that's all for this video.